Very awesome stories. Hi, my name's Max. What's your name? Cool. Hey, do you want to hear a really awesome story? How about Backhoe Joe by Lori Alexander? Let's go! Backhoe Joe by Lori Alexander. Nolan was collecting a few rocks when he heard a growl. There, in the middle of the street, he saw a stray. Backhoe. Nolan took a step closer. Beep, beep, beep. The backhoe reversed into the bushes. Nolan had always wanted a pet backhoe, so he whistled. He called, here, big fella. But the backhoe wouldn't budge. The rocks in Nolan's backpack gave him an idea. The tasty treats were scooped up in no time. Nolan gave the backhoe a pat behind the loader, which made his bucket wiggle like crazy. I'll call you Joe. Look what followed me home, Nolan said. I'm going to keep him. He won't be a bother. Joe buried his cone in the flower bed. Then he leaked all over the driveway. See, Nolan said, he likes it here. Mom and Dad weren't so sure. This backhoe isn't trained, Mom said. I'm on it, Nolan replied. He started with a few simple commands. Come. Joe revved at the mailman. Stay. Joe treaded through Mr. Old Man's grass. Leave it. Joe dug in the garbage. Nolan soon realized the problem. Joe had too much energy. When I have too much energy, Dad asked me to play catch. But Joe lost all the balls. When I have too much energy, Mom takes me to the park. But Joe hogged all the sand. Nolan didn't know what to do. If he couldn't train Joe, Mom and Dad would never let him stay. He kicked at a rusty old fence. The gate creaked open. Joe sped inside. Nolan had found the perfect place for Joe to dig. And dig. And dig. Joe even helped Nolan with his rock collection. When it was time to go, Nolan took a deep breath and tried another command. Joe! Home. This time, Joe listened. I did it. I did it. Joe is trained. Nolan and Joe coasted for home, together. But halfway there, Joe put on the brakes. This isn't our house, Joe. Make a left at the next. That's when Nolan spotted the flyer. Lost backhoe, please call. Reward. It can't be you. You're a different yellow. Joe's bucket drooped. Nolan stared at the picture. He stared at Joe. They were a perfect match. Someone's missing you, Nolan whispered. And I think you miss them too. Nolan knew what he had to do. When Joe's owner arrived, Nolan wondered if he'd ever see his friend again. Luckily, Nolan had earned himself a generous reward, a new hat, an exciting trip, and as many rocks as he could carry. But the best part of all was visiting Backhoe Joe at his house. Such a responsible thing you did, Nolan's parents said proudly. We think you're ready for a pet of your very own. Then Nolan remembered how much work Joe was. Maybe I should get something that won't dig. Something that will sit still and purr? How about... 
A cement mixer! Wow, what an amazing story! Join us next time for another really awesome story. See you next time on World Awesome Stories!